In this video, we will be taking a look around this custom built Explorer yacht, Motor Yacht Timeless. She was built in 2018 by Alu Shipyard for the owner of the yard, and she is now currently listed for sale with Devolk Yacht Brokers. I boarded the boat using the Passerelle, which is located on the starboard side of the vessel, passing these stainless steel guardrails before entering the spacious cockpit. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to give this video a like so that more people on YouTube get to see it. The cockpit's sliding doors reveal the saloon, while a portside staircase leads up to the luxurious flybridge. Positioned on the starboard side of the cockpit, we discover a robust watertight door granting access to the engine room. The door's sturdy construction and reassuring strength evoke the impressive watertight doors found on formidable warships. On the aft section of the cockpit, there is a comfortable seating area and a large table for indulging in some alfresco dining. Located on the port side of the cockpit, a set of elegant stairs descend onto the inviting swim platform. Adding to the convenience, a hot and cold shower awaits, perfect for rinsing off after a refreshing dip in the ocean. The teak side decks on Motor Yacht Timeless are nice and wide, allowing for safe and convenient access between the cockpit, bow and other deck areas. The thick gunnels topped with stainless steel handrails ensure guests and crew can walk safely around the upper deck when navigating rough seas. The wheelhouse can be accessed from the upper deck via port and starboard heavy duty watertight doors. On the foredeck are several sun pads and a seating area with the raised part of the deck providing additional headroom for the forward accommodation areas. As we head back down towards the cockpit via the starboard side deck, let's talk more about the specs of Timeless. She has an aluminium hull and superstructure and has a displacement of just over 60 tonnes. She is powered by twin Cummins 425 horsepower engines with 1200 hours on them. Accommodation wise, she has four cabins with two crew cabins located forward. Make sure you stay tuned as we will be checking them out later on in the video. The interior features high quality American walnuts, giving it a luxurious and refined appearance. The floor is made of massive oak, enhancing the warmth and elegance of the space. The saloon has ample headroom, measuring 2.2 meters, and is fitted with heating and air conditioning systems, ensuring a comfortable environment for guests, regardless of the weather outside. The headroom in this saloon is just exceptional. As many of you know, I'm quite tall, I'm six foot four, and there's still a good foot and a half of headroom above me. And the finish in here is absolutely sublime. It just speaks high quality, luxury, and of course, space. There is a comfortable sofa on the starboard side of the saloon, and moving forward, there's plenty of storage space and a door that leads out onto the starboard side deck. The saloon's large windows progressively enlarge from the forward to the aft section, inviting a generous amount of daylight to illuminate the area. The saloon also has an entertainment system featuring a Samsung OLED TV and art sound high-end speakers. Before we head into the wheelhouse, let's check out the galley that is located on the port side. As you move forward, you pass a staircase on the port side that leads up onto the flybridge and also down into the accommodation areas. Opposite the galley are two doors. One leads into this handy utility room that comes complete with a washer dryer and some additional storage space. The other door leads into a day head. As we enter the galley, you'll immediately notice the well-designed layout and ample workspace available. This space is perfect for preparing delicious meals while enjoying these stunning views outside. Note also the door that leads directly out onto the port side deck. 
Over here we have the state-of-the-art induction cooker by Siemens and a convenient coffee machine ensuring you can whip up gourmet dishes and enjoy fresh coffee with ease. Just above the cooker you'll find ample storage space for all your cooking essentials. Taking a closer look we see the L-shaped cooktops that seamlessly blend with the cooker and sink area. In my opinion this efficient design epitomizes space and functionality for an enjoyable cooking experience. And finally feast your eyes on this massive fridge freezer by Amica. It provides plenty of room to store fresh ingredients, beverages and frozen goods for extended voyages. And now let's check out the wheelhouse. Here we have the captain's chair providing comfort and support during navigation. You'll also notice the steering wheel and two large Simrad multifunction displays essential for monitoring the yacht's systems and progress. Here we see the wheel's Ridley steering control allowing for precise manoeuvring. Next we have the engine throttle levers. Next to the Simrad displays are the controls for the bow thruster, making docking and tight manoeuvring a breeze. In my opinion, this helm station is truly designed with the captain's convenience and efficiency in mind. But as always, I'm interested to hear what you think, so share your thoughts in the comments below. On the port side of the wheelhouse are a navigator's chair and the ship's computer. Note also the VHF radios and EPIRBs. If you need one for your boat, check out my Amazon shop. You'll find the link in the video description. So I'm currently sat in the captain's chair, which is obviously located to starboard. And as you can see, thanks to these massive windows, you get a fantastic view. The stanchion's also really narrow, meaning that your view forward is not obstructed. Before we take a look inside the engine room and crew quarters, let us check out the accommodation, starting with the full beam midships owner's cabin, complete with ensuite and walk-in wardrobe. Welcome to the luxurious master cabin where the centerpiece is this cozy king size bed inviting you to relax and unwind after a day of adventure. Over to the starboard side there's a stylish desk and chair perfect for catching up on work or planning your next excursion. And check out this walk-in wardrobe, ample space for all your clothing, accessories and personal items. On the port side of the master cabin a plush couch invites relaxation. Inside the large ensuite, a sleek toilet, sink and vanity area cater to your morning and evening routines. A lavish shower and wet room, along with a sumptuous bath, offer a spa-like experience on board. Let's take one last look at this stunning master cabin before we continue our tour of the accommodation areas. And now let's have a look inside the forward VIP cabin. Here we have a plush bed, a comfortable couch and a practical small desk area, ensuring guests feel right at home. Moving into the ensuite, you'll find a modern sink and generous cabinet storage for toiletries and personal items. Lastly, the ensuite features a spacious shower, providing guests with a refreshing and relaxing experience during their stay on board. Lastly, before we explore the crew quarters, flybridge and engine room, let's take a peek at the starboard twin single guest cabin. There's a mirrored cabin on the port side, boasting an identical layout and equally a superb finish. And now for the crew quarters, which are located in the bow. First up in the crew quarters, we have these snug twin single bunks for a restful sleep. Next, another well-designed bunk area comes complete with storage and a small work desk. And lastly, we have one of the practical ensuite bathrooms designed for the comfort of the crew. The last exterior space I want to showcase before we venture into the engine room is the flybridge and sun deck, which also accommodates the boat deck. During my visit in April, the yacht was in its winterized state, but you'll also get a glimpse of how this area appears when fully operational. We are going to access the flybridge via the staircase located on the port side of the cockpit. But you can also access the flybridge via this staircase that can be found on the port side of the saloon just after the galley.
As you emerge onto the large sun deck, the boat deck is located aft and has ample room for a small tender and some water toys, or in this case, a jet ski. The hydraulic crane has a lifting capacity of 500 kilograms. Forward there is a seating area and of course the helm controls, which on this boat are located on the port side. When the tender and jet skis are on the water, this area can be used as a space for entertaining guests or just relaxing in the sun. The large table and chairs offer plenty of comfortable space for guests to sit back and enjoy the view, whilst also enjoying a meal and one or many drinks. Forward of the seating area is this large center island counter that has a refrigerator, wash basin and electric grill. And of course, moving forward, we come to the helm position. Here you get an idea of how spectacular the view is from the flybridge, especially on a sunny day in Croatia. The radar arch has plenty of space for even more marine electronics, should you wish to add the latest in marine technology, such as Starlink, forward-looking infrared, or maybe a secondary nav radar. And if the weather decides to change, or if you want some respite from the sun, there is also an electric retractable bimini. Now it's time to head back onto the main deck and check out the engine room. Timeless is fitted with twin Cummins QSB 425 horsepower engines. They give the boat a top speed of 12 knots with a cruising speed of 10 knots. She can carry 12,700 litres or around 3,356 US gallons of fuel. Whilst the data regarding her range is not in the public domain, I have worked out that when travelling at just under 10 knots, depending of course on load and weather conditions, then you could expect a range of around 3,500 nautical miles. But remember, these are just my rough calculations. Concerning stabilization, this yacht is equipped with advanced side power SPS 66 vector fin stabilizers for enhanced comfort and stability. At the time of making this video, Timeless is listed for sale with the Volk Yacht Brokers. She has been entered into an auction with bids starting from 1 million euros which is around 1.09 million US dollars. If you'd like to find out more, then I will leave a link and the broker's email address at the bottom of the video description. I want to say a huge thank you to the Volk Yacht Brokers for allowing me access to this unique boat. And remember, if you have access to a vessel that you think I should feature on my YouTube channel, be sure to make contact with me. I will leave my contact details in the video description. As always, I'd like to give a big shout out to my channel members for supporting my channel. Over the next couple of days, I've got some very interesting updates for you, so make sure you stay tuned for them. If you're interested in becoming a channel member and getting access to behind the scenes information and content, then click on the link pinned in the comments. Before you sail off into the sunset, please don't forget to give the video a like, and if you haven't already, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got a couple of videos in front of you now, which I'm sure you will love. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.